Okay, so I lied. Next up, we're gonna shoot nine millimeters at it. We got his Taurus M MC3, MX3. MXR, what? GX4, how's, hey, I got the X G right. GX4. <laughs> He's got a Taurus GX4. I got a Mossberg MC1 SC. Uh, we're gonna see what these things do to okay, so, steel. Um, I don't know nothing about this one. Just like a nine mil, except instead of that button you press when it's empty to shoot it forward, you have to pull the slide back. Safety on, safety off. Yeah, what about pulling it back? Yeah, it, so you just pull it all the way back. Yep. With the clip in, it locks. With the clip out, it doesn't. It's hard to see that from here, but that's a nine millimeter and a 380 right next to each other. They're like very, 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 very hard to tell apart if you were to mix the two. That's why uh, it's better if you get uh, some different color brass casing. Like if you open the box at the store and look at it, if it's got different color brass, that's a good thing. You don't want it all being gold, mixing the two, and then, oh no, now I gotta worry about shooting a 380 out of nine or a nine out of 380. Granted, one won't work, but you still don't want to shoot the wrong ammo with the wrong size barrel. Otherwise, it'll just detonate and won't be good. Or it'll lodge and tear up your barrel one way or another. Uh, I think you can do eight. It's hard to get that eight one in, but... <laughs> That's on. You can't shoot it with that. Yeah, but you can do this? No. That locks both the slide and the trigger. So you're not pulling it back and pulling the trigger at the same time. You just shoot 380 right quick. See what's up with that. I'm, I'm gonna bring, I already have nine in already loaded. Oh, you do? Oh, you, you wanna be in front of the table? I feel safer on the back end of it because that's steel. Are we gonna even hit it from here? I don't know. We're, that, we're that's. Bad at this game. That's a good question. It's very, very, very hard. This. This, is, this is going to be weaker than the 9mm, right? Uh, yes. You're not going to feel much difference between that and your 22 because that's so heavy uh, and the no, bullet's so... No, there's clear difference so... between this and that. There is, there is, but... This is fat. Yeah. That's the only difference. That's the difference. <laughs> the gun itself is fatter than this. Yeah. <laughs> Yet somehow this holds more rounds that are bigger. Yeah. Makes no Look sense. Look how much fatter that is. Yeah. But this holds 11 rounds. Yeah. It made no sense whatsoever. Science. Okay. I forgot how loud that was. <laughs> I'm trying to hit something with this. Go ahead. I like the square. Oh, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why is it like that? Oh, it's, it jams. That's oh. that's one of the things I don't like about that gun. It jams it just didn't a cycle. lot. It just didn't complete the cycle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I anticipated that way too bad. That thing jams a whole lot. Remember, drop the mag, then pull. Click down. Yeah. It's an extra step. That thing does not have that button right there. You can't click yeah, that. Yeah, I like 9 better. Yeah, so do I. So do I. I'm happy he agrees. <laughs> it, it's easier to shoot, though. Oh, yeah. I hit the target, at least. Much, much easier. You know, I have a high doubt that I'm going to hit anything with this from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm half tempted just to shoot at the wood, see what it does with that. Ain't oh, no, no way I'm never shooting had that. Almost not do that. You want to get a little closer, maybe hide behind the tractor for the for these. Just shooting in that general direction with it, with the potential to hit the tractor by bouncing off maybe. is already yeah. 
it's already. Look, I'll see if I can hit it from here. This is gonna be much louder than what you just shot. Oh yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Why am I scared of it right now? Standing next to that's even. Yeah. I hit it. You hit it. You hit it. I don't know what you hit. Oh, I think you hit one of the circles. Hey! I think you hit the right one. That was a lot of like force coming off of I could feel that smacking me across the face. Yeah. It's that's loud. Way more than it also this hit thing. your hand hard. My finger is like tingling right now. It's numb. Really? Yeah, it hits my hand hard right here. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. My finger is like kind of numb right there right now. I'm gonna try and because it's kind of cold and it's hitting my finger. Yeah. I'm gonna try and hit that steel in the far right. You can hear difference in the sound of our hit. Seriously. Oh, it's flying right. <laughs> I'm gonna use just one more clip. And Alright, I think I've had enough 9mm. I'm not hitting anything. I'm gonna do one like, more clip. These small pistols, I can't do anything with. <laughs> Next up, 12 gauge with one ounce slugs. I'm a little hesitant to do this because last time I shot my single shot, that <sighs> thing kicks like a mule. Like it just, it's uncomfortable to shoot. It really, really is. That 300 is. shot me in the shoulder, basically. Huh? At 300, freaking kicked me in the shoulder like a horse. Yeah. Yeah, you got 12 gauge, one ounce. Slugs. I got it in almost. There we go. I'm gonna have to edit this. I didn't so even the full much. 11. It's so hard to put that thing in there. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can put it in there. It's really hard. Yeah, I'll, I'll make it even like this. Oops. I got it. Careful, careful. That's careful. Alrighty. So this is a brake action uh, Hatfield SGL. Shooting one ounce slug. That should be fine. It's been so long since I shot this thing. All right. Let's see what this does. Brace for impact. a lot more oomph to it than I remember. Gosh. That's got an interesting smell to it. Like that, that smells better than hey. most of the shots I run with. Oh, <laughs> fire away. The difference is stark. I like firework going off. You got boom, da doo, really da doo. <laughs> Brett, come on. All right. I'm gonna try to aim for it's that so cylinder now. To do that with one hand, this thing. All right, I successfully wasted all your ammo. I mean, all the. This sounded like a really aggressive <sighs> 22 rifle. I saw that. Do that to your whole body. <sighs> No, it's uncomfortable. I don't want to there shoot is that. I don't nothing. Want to shoot that even once. There is nothing on the back of this to protect your shoulder. Ow! I will not <laughs> shoot that. Okay? Yeah, I don't blame you. Man, that does not feel good. Gosh. If you enjoy my suffering, please subscribe. I'm gonna be feeling that at work tomorrow. That's gonna hurt.
junk, the, the stock punched me in the face, man. Good junk. This hurts. <laughs> I think this is just normal, yeah, normal slugs. What is this? Two and three quarter inch, one ounce slug. Supposed to be traveling 1,560 feet a second. I'm gonna try to shoot it. Okay, that's gonna sit. <laughs> that hurt my hand a lot because it's cold. To do that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a glove oh, to start doing no. that. What? I think my firing pin broke. How would that oh it's just not making it through the hole? It's there. Then you pull the hammer back. Well, was it firing? <laughs> God. It went through two slugs, but the rest of it just don't wanna work. Pull the hammer back. That's what it's supposed to do. Maybe you should just fire it like that. That is where it's not gonna hit your shoulder. Yeah, that is way easier. <laughs> just fire it, hit fire. Hitting my shoulder. Cause ow. <laughs> Ouch. We're gonna shoot one more. I wanna try and hit that cylinder. I wanna see it move. Alright. Not looking down the barrel, not doing that. I'm gonna be feeling this tomorrow. Make sure it's touching your shoulder good. It's a buried into my shoulder. It don't feel good. Oh man, I don't like that. <laughs> it looked a little more stable that time. <laughs> uh, uh. That I can feel it in my hand. I can feel the blood rushing from my hand to my shoulder because my body knows it's in pain. Ow. Oh, man, that does not feel good. That's enough of 12 gauge. I'm gonna check the cylinder before he can reload his next thing. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a picture of that. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna record just this right here turning purple. I don't think I hit that either. That, I think that right there was the slug. No, that was the 22. It does not look like I hit that. You really don't. That is saddening. There's so much dirt being flung up. I guess I missed twice. I don't know, four times. I suck with a shotgun. Slugs hurt. Specifically that one. Oh, the whole thing fell on that. Look at that. That, that was the stand my target was on. That is <laughs> just stuck in mud. Leaning up against a block of wood. That's unfortunate. He hit that a couple more times. I think he was aiming at this a couple times too. We suck. <laughs> this is painful. Huh? Uh, I'm gonna shoot a 500 Magnum and Let's see. I went through 12 gauge, 380, 556, five, nine. I think I brought six calibers out. I think I brought, yeah, I brought both pistols, brought 500. I haven't six. shot the 500 yet. I shot the 12 gauge, 556, five, and the 22 rifle, long rifle. That's gauge, right. Pistols. The red one. one more. The uh, red one. Rifles. Yeah. There's two rifles. Three. Shotgun. Yeah. Two rifles. Shotgun. Shotgun. Pistols. Two pistols. Last five, pistol. Big boy, 500 Magnum. That will tear that target right there completely up. I don't want to shoot that with the 500. I want to get close. I want to shoot that, the cylinder right there. I want to shoot that with the 500 Magnum. I want to see what that does. 
and hopefully not get any shrapnel sent back my way. So, see you. Oh, Walmart. Yeah. All right. We on you. All right. Now for the Mac Daddy. Five hundred Smith and Wesson Magnum. It's the biggest cartridge I own. Biggest revolver I own. The biggest caliber I own. I'm hoping later this year to get a 50 BMG Barrett 107. Um, if I can, that's on the bucket list. That's on its way. It is set in stone. I should have it by August. I hope. If not September. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to sink five rounds into this cylinder. I don't know what he's going to do, but we're going to see what I can do with a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum versus a, I'm going to say, inch and a half thick aluminum cylinder. This is going to be a lot. I don't mind shooting this over the 12 gauge, but if I were to compare the two, I'd say both of them are on par with each other when it comes to the slugs that come out of that and the rounds, the 350 grain rounds out of this. I'm using some underwood ammo. Got some silver nickel plated brass and a hollow point 380, uh, not 380, 350 grain hollow point from underwood. It's getting kind of dark out, so we're kind of hoping to uh, speed things along. I, at least I am, I don't know about him. By the way, my name is Orb. Uh, I've got several YouTube channels on YouTube. Uh, check them out. I got Logistic Orb 3. Search up ORB and it's the first one to pop up. I got Orbs Rounds, which is this channel, and I got Orbs Reacts. And that, that one might change. That one's a weird one. But typically, for Pew Pew's sake, we're going to be keeping all Pew Pews on this channel. And we're going to do most of our gaming React stuff on Logistic Orb 3. Um, Logistic Orb 3 came from my gamer tag off of Xbox. I'm primarily an Xbox player. Um, though I have many different consoles. I can play whatever. Uh, yeah. If you want to see more of this content, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see us shoot some interesting targets, uh, leave a comment cool. down below because... This is going to be interesting. What? It's cold. It's getting very cold. Oh, don't want to be careful. All right. Aiming at the steel target to the right. I believe that shot high, like really high. I believe I pulled high too. Let's see what I can do here. That knocked the steel target completely over. If that's not a hit, I don't know what is. We're gonna try and aim for this cylinder now, <laughs> and hopefully it doesn't snap the thing in two. That did not hit, I don't know where that, maybe high again. I was aiming pretty low, so. Let's aim a little bit lower. That, if that didn't hit it, I don't, sorry, I don't, I think I'm aiming at you. Can I do, I, can I, no. no. I think that hit it. I want to go check it. Aiming for the cylinder, I'm going to aim low again. I'm pretty sure that went high, did it not? High and left. Well, I have no idea, I was looking at the gun. All right, aiming for the target, the steel on the right. Going. Did I shoot all five? You shot more than two. I shot all five. Wow. I shot two and then one more and magically shot like the other three. I don't know. I guess I'm just having too much fun with this. Gosh. Go ahead. Very nice. I kind of had to hold the 
sideways. It looked funny. Yeah, it started coming this way. I could but feel it. I, I had to hold it sideways because it felt more. I could stabilize it more. Yeah. I'm going to try. Through. And I was like, just trying to push forward. I know it's a bad idea, but I'm going to try and get closer. I'm going to load up two more rounds in this and try and sink them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Sketchy. But I'm going to get a pallet, protect myself a little bit. <laughs> I think a pallet's going to protect you from that. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would say uh this is close enough. Probably. It's like a chewing gum. Yeah, it's okay. You'll get better. Okay. Uh, you see I didn't hit a single shot. I'll go reload this right quick. <laughs> just, just don't go closer. It's not a good idea. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Alrighty. <laughs> Three more rounds. Three more attempts. Really, really, really hoping I hit this cylinder because I want to see it dent. I want to see it mess up. I wanna. I wanna, wanna, wanna. <laughs> oh, it goes right. Okay, so bam, now it's good. I don't know where that one went. That was a hit. And if it wasn't, I don't know what is because that barrel went, or the barrel, the cylinder went flying. I'm gonna go check this. My nine millimeter and his 30 ACP. Wait, 380. ACP, I think. I like this one better. I like that it's sharper. It's also smaller. I, I prefer the small handgun. Oh my gosh. Wow. That right there is 22, or not 22, this is 5.56 going at 3,000 feet a second. Or I shot it right here. Over 2,200, huh? What if I just. This is a 500 Magnum. As you can see, because 500 Magnum is wider and it's got the hollow point, when it hits, it just smacks, mushes a little, and then the bullet will explode. But because of how fast and how small that 22 is, it just keeps going in. 22 was made to penetrate into heavy objects. 500 Magnum is just made to smack the crud out of stuff. So, <laughs> that's it. You can barely see it. I'm going I'm to get this. I don't know if I can get that. You can see where it just arches right there because it's bending the absolute crud with how much power behind that one projectile is and how fast it just smacked the crud out of it. So I am happy with the result of this. Next up, I'm going to shoot a 12-gauge uh, one-ounce slug at this. I want to see what that does. That's what that one looks like. That's fun. Thirty A three no three eighty ACP and I think that's what it's called three eighty ACP I think and then nine millimeter uh, GX four four so I found my title for the video five hundred magnum versus one ounce slug oh yeah <laughs> so hey look the sun shining. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, you. This one's heavier. By far, that one. It's so weird. Yeah. You ready? For such a light round, I don't get it. By the way, this is uh, the same 12 gauge my dad got me. For Christmas, a while back. I was not on camera. Got some. Here you were. No, I was over here. Oh, sad. Uh, mine's Got better. Pretty little Browning uh, sling attached to it. Mine's better because. Uh... Yeah, yours is by far better. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It was
was st it was clicking. It was firing the pin without firing the bullet over and over again. And then suddenly, bam! Yeah. That was scary. This is gonna hurt. When you shoot that. This is gonna hurt a lot. I don't Look like shooting here, so this one. I think because the slug is heavier, it's got more of that trajectory. So when it when it sends out the barrel, it just zips down quicker than it'll hit its target. Um, pretty sure that was a miss, but we're gonna check anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that that was a definite miss. I like I like that. Um, I really don't like how this one right here. You have to like when you pull it back, right? When the mag's in, it stays back, right? I, I mean, that's the same for this. But, right, I can just... To put it back forward, right? But this one, it's, this is the safety, right? But to even get it go back forward, I have to get it out. And then pull this back. A little bit. A little bit to get it to go back forward. I like how simple mine is. Even though it's hard to pull back, you know, with another gun in my hand. You can see that. So I lied. We're gonna do uh, not a montage, but we're gonna zip through some of the firearms we went over in today's video. Um, yeah. So, so Savage 22 long rifle with a scope, uh, Barska, Barska scope. We're gonna see. That's it for long rifle. Next up, 9mm Mossberg MC1SC. Very effective. We're going to step it back up to 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum just to hit that cylinder again. And then we're gonna try, I'm gonna try one more slug. <laughs> I'm pushing it with what I got right now, but we're gonna try one more slug. What, are you, are you crazy? Yes. All right, it's too cold for me right now. So I'm gonna shoot this last six and then that'll be it for me. That's a, that bean is pretty cool. I just got this. We'll try again, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, 350 grand underwood ammo. This is going to be interesting. Ready to go! <laughs> That was 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum, 350 grain rounds. I really, really, really enjoyed this gun. I really, really do. Smith & Wesson, you make great revolvers. All right, so 12 gauge, one ounce slug, huh? You're done? Yeah. All righty. 12 gauge, one ounce slug. Let's see what it does to this cylinder. sounded like a hit. I'm gonna go put this away and uh, we're gonna check out this lovely cylinder of ours. All right ladies and gentlemen without further ado place your comments now. Did the 500 Magnum do more than the one ounce 12 gauge slug or was it the other way around? Ready set. It looks like 
that right there was where the slug hit. That's 500 Magnum. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That might be the slug. That might be the slug. That's 500 Magnum. That is the 12 gauge slug. Oh, no. It looks like it won. It smacked the crud out of it, too. Well, you can even see little bits and pieces of the slug, the nose of it right there. That concludes today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. If you want to see more, comment. What do you think about 12 gauge slug versus 500 Magnum? Comment down below. What you what do you want to see shot? I want to see spray cans shot, to be honest. Spray cans sound fun to shoot. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.